out of your flesh. Stony heart. Out of your flesh. And the stony hearts is in pulpits and yeah. churches is everywhere. That's right. That's why the people now don't want to worship God right that's because right. their heart is hard. Heart, that's right. Now, when God sent a preacher, mm -hmm. God teaches him husbandry. That's right. You know, the Lord said, uh, I am the true vine. True vine. And my father is the This is the 15th man. chapter of the book of John And begin in verse my, 1 My mind is just being compacted <laughs> With scripture here Amen. I, I am the You better give me John 15 and 1 St. John chapter 15 and verse 1 I am the true vine The true vine I Hold it that, that, Holy here oh, hey, man. He ain't talking about the spirit No He said I am I am A vine is something natural That's right And you know a, a vine can grow on a fence And cover the fence That's right Right. And then the vine can grow in a flower patch and kill all the flowers. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's what God does. Oh, yes. He covers you with the spirit oh, and yes. they choke everything out. That's not right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And man, that's both natures oh, yes. of the Holy Ghost here. Go ahead, man. What did he say? I am the true vine. I am. I am. The, the true, true vine. vine. And my father. True vine. A true vine. That means what he do, he do it good. That's right. He don't leave no stone unturned. That's right. I am the true vine. And my father. And the spirit. Is the husbandman. Is the planter of the vine. That's right. Husband tree is farming. Oh, yes. Husband tree is when someone farm, till ground, plant seed. That's it. In order for a vine to come, mm -hmm. You got to have a planter of seed. That's right. Now, my father, meaning God, spirit, Lord, creator, is the planter of the son of man, seed of David, offspring of David, lamb of God, Messiah, prophet, apostle, minister, true vine. That's right. You couldn't, listen, you couldn't see the husband man. No. Because he was covered by the vine. That's right. You could just hear the husband man talk through the vine. That's right. The husband man was the inner man. Yes. Paul said to wit, God was in Christ Jesus, reconciling the world unto himself. Unto himself. That's right. So to better understand that the husband man was in mm. the true vine, reconciling the world unto himself. That's right. Do you get what I'm telling you? I am the true vine. I am. I am. The, the true vine. And my father. Notice he referred to as something natural. Right. Eh? That's right. And my father. Is the husband is the man. husband man. Every branch in me. Uh oh. Every branch in me. Now every branch in me. That beareth not fruit. Now we come from the vine. That's right. Go ahead brother. You see we the branches. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. Yeah, when you got a tree. The branches stem from the tree. That's right. And here God is the tree of life. That's and it. the church stems from him. That's right. And every branch in me. Every branch that's in me. That beareth not fruit. All. Amen. Every branch. Every branch every in me. Every person. Right. In that me. That's in me. That beareth that's not fruit. That's not productive. He taketh away. He taketh away. They hit. That's right. Every branch. Every branch. Every I don't branch. care how long you've been in church. It doesn't matter who doesn't you matter. are. Are you productive? That's it. You know, when spring get close and you can see the trees starting to bud. Right. And they're doing what God made them to do. That's right. Uh, but here you may have a tree there. That's uh, the, the bark is all dry. Mm hmm. And it's not budding now. That's right. Tree may be dead. Still occupying space. Yes. Amen. But uh, it's dead now. In the book of St. Mark chapter 11. So that tree got to be hewed down. That's right. Listen at this. St. Mark chapter 11 and we're at verse 12. What is it? And on the morrow. Have they... you noticed every step we make we get Bible for it? That's right. Amen. Because I want, you to, I want you to look at yourself right. from the scriptures. That's right. William's got the mirror. Oh, yes. And I want you to look at yourself and say, behold. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. Because you have to have the fruit of the, the spirit, spirit, but before you can have the fruits, you got to properly be planted. That's right. Uh -huh. In the book of St. Mark, chapter 11 and verse 12. All right. And on the morrow when they were come from Bethany. On the morrow when they come from Bethany. And when they were come from Bethany, he was hungry. He from they came when he came from Bethany, he was hungry. And seeing a fig tree he afar saw a off. Fig tree afar off. Having leaves. Had leaves. He 
came, if happily, he might find anything thereon. He came happily. That's right. If he, he would might find, find that he thereon. might find. Might find anything thereon. You see, that he might find. He might find it. Because he knows the fig tree supposed to produce. That's right. Now, if you're in the church, God knows mm -hmm. you're supposed to be productive. That's right. So now you're being examined, evaluated, screened. That's right. By scripture. That's right. See, did you start the bud yet? That's it. Because without question, nobody can say the seed is not here. Oh, no. Huh? Can't say that. You see, the problem with a lot of folks that are here and mm. you that are listening in, uh, there's no fertilizer in your church. That's it. Uh -huh. You just can't drop seed and turn soil. That's you right. got to have the mixture of fertilizer. <laughs> That's right. You know, fertilizer, yeah. thank God, but not mixing the soil and make it rich. That's right. Huh? That's right. And make it rich. God sometime and use your past to mingle in the present oh, hey, so man. something worthwhile in the future That's can right. come into play. That's right. Eh? That's right. Glory to God. What did he say? And seeing a fig tree afar off having seeing leaves. Seeing a fig tree afar off having leaves. He came if happily he might find anything thereon. Yes. And when he came to it what happened? He found nothing but leaves. What? When he came to it, he found nothing but he leaves. He found nothing but leaves. For the time of figs was not yet. Yes. And Jesus answered and said unto it. What? No man eat fruit of thee no hereafter man. forever. Eat fruit of thee. Of thee. Hereafter forever. Hereafter forever. And his disciples heard it. Then what? And now in the book of St. Mark chapter 11. In, in other 20, words, he cussed it. That's right. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Because he was ready to eat. Right. And a tree ain't have nothing for me. Nothing eat. but leaves. So Jesus said. And in the morning as they passed by, they saw the fig tree. They saw the fig tree. Dried up from the root. Dried up from, the, from the root. And Peter calling to remember it saith unto him. What? Master, behold. Master, behold. The fig tree which thou cursed is withered away. Are you cursed today? That's right. That's right. Notice. Before a fig tree comes, comes, it start as a seed. That's right. So the seed is there. Oh, yes. The trick tree, trick tree, tree uh, the fig tree is true. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> that is the seed was planted. That's right. It's proof that the word of God is being planted. Yeah. Why are some of you? Yes. Non-productive. That's right. You know, some of you, thank God, are sitting around the word, and for years you're the same mean, arrogant, self-righteous, high-minded, disrespectful, arrogant, self-righteous, hell-deserving thing, and sitting around the word all the time. All the time. Getting therapy and wonder why that won't help you. That's right. Getting shock therapy, that won't help you. That's right. Seeing psychiatrists, that won't help you. Yeah. A psychiatrist can talk to you, but he or she cannot tap into your soul. Yet I had planted thee. Huh? That's right. Hey, man, you can go get therapy, and they can talk Preaching, to you and brother. ask you questions, how you raised, how were you traumatized, <laughs> right. but not one. That's right. Glory to God can tap into your soul. That's right. Thank God the one that tapped yeah. into your soul, your subconscious go ahead. mind. Thank God yeah. is the Holy Ghost himself. That's right. Ah! Jeremiah chapter 2. Here what the word of God said. Jeremiah chapter 2 and at verse 21. What is it? Yet I had planted thee. I have planted a thee. A noble vine. A no. Here, 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 here. Amen. God said. Yet I had planted thee. I planted thee. A noble vine. I gave you the word. Holy. The word of God is there. Oh, yes. And I planted you a noble vine. A noble vine. What? Holy. A Holy. Right, a right seed. A right seed. How then? Listen. Amen. How then? Art thou turned? How is it that you change? Into the degenerate plant. How did you become a degenerate plant? Of a strange vine unto me. Strange vine. A strange vine. You growing where you don't belong. That's right. You know, a woman that take care of her plant, she got a nice uh, rose garden or uh, what they call a Japanese garden. Yeah. That woman that take care of her garden, she's out there walking around picking up every weed. That's right. 
Every vine that she didn't plant, she pulling it up. That's right. Amen. Those plants that my heavenly father have not planted shall, shall be, be rooted, rooted, up. rooted up. You know, there's some plants that she don't want to grow there because it'll kill what she has. That's right. In other words, they are interfering oh, yes. with the growth of the plant. That's right. A lot of us are interfering with our own growth. That's right. We can try to blame it on somebody else. Yeah. Thank God that sometimes the way we think yeah. and the way we feel and our personal views and our personal ideas right. is interfering with our own growth. That's so right. So God declared if you want to be right, my thoughts are not your, your thoughts. thoughts. My way is not, not your, your way. That's right. So lay aside your way. That's right. Thank God. Now let's get the fruits of the spirit, son. Now the book of Galatians chapter 5. Hey, Amen. Let's get the fruits of the spirit in the fifth chapter of the book of Galatians. In I want Galatians. everybody to get this. That's right. Galatians chapter, chapter 5, five and verse 22. Here. And begin at verse 22. Then we go back. I want to go back and forth right. with the 15th chapter of the book of John. Yes. All right, son. Let's but, have it. But the fruit of the spirit. The fruit of the spirit. The attributes of the spirit. Of the spirit. Is love. Glory to God. Amen. That's right. Love. The Bible says That's right. God is love. God is love. I ain't talking about that fleshy stuff. No. I mean, you don't have, sometimes you can't put that much confidence in that. That's right. You know, some folks say they love you, they, uh, the, and the person that hear it, they melt, they fall out, <laughs> they get right. all warm. Yeah, they love you until what? Until. Some folk love it. Listen, this is what some folk love is. Yeah. <laughs> It's not black or white. No. It's green. That's right. <laughs> Amen. That's, That's right. the way some folk love is. Yes. Some folk love you as long as they can take advantage of you. Oh, yes. Some folk love you as long as you let them have uh, their way. Yeah. And there, 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 some folk can't take correction in love. That's right. Amen. As long as you let them get away and, amen, do what they want and say what they want to say and act the way they want to act. See, there's some folk there just bad fruit. That's right. Bad fruit. Amen. There used to be a song sung years ago, Strange Fruit. Strange Fruit. <laughs> yeah. That's right. And that's God knows that's the truth. That's the truth. There's some people that strange, strange fruit. Strange. Amen. You tell them what the word of God said, they won't change. That's right. That saved their life. That's right. Amen. You give them the help they should have, they don't want it. No. You tell them what they should do, they won't do it. <laughs> you right. tell them how to do it, they lean to their own way and do it their way. That's right. Anytime you told what to do, you don't do it. Mm -hmm. Anytime you told how to do it, you won't do it. Right. Anytime you brought Bible that which is nothing but the rod of correction and you still don't do it. Still but every do. time I do this, I do it my way, but this, but that, then you go, you're nothing but a corrupt fruit. A corrupt fruit. And you get any apple, yeah. you can tell when it start to uh, rot. It <laughs> sets right. too long. That's right. Eh? That's right. Hey, man, your brown spots start to uh, get in there, and, and it gets soft. That's right. Too soft, you know, when you got a good crunchy, crunchy. nice, sweet <laughs> That's right. apple, you can bite into it, and you hear it snap, crackle, and pop. Even so, every good tree. Eh? That's right. Hey, man, but when there's a you bite into an apple bite into that's it. too soft and too rotten. You bite it and didn't know that you're like, oh, you start, yeah, you go right to a trash can and blah, blah, blah. That's right. Spit it out. That's right. What? Even that's the way some people are. That's right. Hey, Amen. They done got so soft and soft. soggy and self will Go ahead, man. Thank God they have no firmness that's right. in them. That's right. You know, when, uh, when it's time for harvest, yeah. the farmer goes out and inspect, thank God, uh, the apple trees. The apple trees. And when they harvest the apple trees, they look over the, all the apples. There's some apples they got to cut open. Oh, yes. Because there's a predator in there. That's, that's right. Huh? That's right. And man, there's a predator in there that he, they, the, the farmer don't want nobody to have. No. Sometimes the farmer cut it open, there's a worm in there, and he may not kill the worm. Yeah. He'll take the worm and throw it out there or feed it to a bird. That's right. Because he knows somebody can, something can benefit can from benefit it. from it. We, the worm is not for us. No. Because we are already a worm. That's right. Mm -hmm. The Bible tells us when, when you go to hell, yeah. where the worm dieth, dieth not, not, and the fire shall not 
not be quenched. That's right. Amen. So here I am with the word of God, the sharp sword yeah. is trying to remove the worms and the deficiencies out of your soul that you may be clean, spotless, and purified by the cleansing of the book. And the Bible said you're clean through the word Preacher. that I speak unto you. That's right. So now that the Preacher. crop of the Lord, the people of the Lord is growing and God church, God have a sprinkler system here. That's which right. Is, don't you hear the Bible said, my doctrine. That's, that's right. Glory to shall God. Drop as the rain. Shall drop as, as the, the rain. rain. My speech. And as my speech shall distill, shall as, distill the as the dew upon the, upon the tender the herb. herb. So right. now we got a Holy Ghost sprinkler system here. That's right. That's covering the church. That's and right. It's dropping, glory dropping to God. rain. Glory rain. Dropping rain. That's right. Thank God on God's crop. That's and right. And there's a day of harvest come oh, when yeah. the Lord comes. Oh, yeah. He's going to collect yes. his crop. That's He's right. going to separate, separate the wheat from, from the, the tares. tares and that which is right and godly he will accept. That's and right. that which is not right he's going to reject. Reject it. That's why I'm here now. Right. Going through the church looking over the crop. Oh yes. Making sure that the wheat is almost right. That's right. And when I see the tares there I'm not going to pull the tear up. No. Because God didn't tell me to. That's right. God said let the tears and wheat grow Go together. Grow together. And, That's right. And he is my job to just preach the gospel and look what's growing among the people and they let the collector which is God himself That's do right. the separation. That's right. You say God will separate. Yes. You can sit around this gospel all you want, all you want. and do nothing much as you please. Yeah. But the day of harvest, That's I'm right. just a farmer. That's right. Dropping seed. Yeah. Going around expecting the crop. Mm. There's some tears there. That's right. Uh -uh. I'm gonna keep preaching to you. Yeah. There's some tears. Oh, I'm gonna keep preaching to you. That's right. There's some tears there. Oh, there's some tears over there. That's right. I'm gonna keep preaching. Oh but yes. There's a farmer coming. That's right. There's a farmer afar off. He said, "Behold, I come quickly." Quickly. And Let both grow together. Do you hear what the Bible says here? Yeah, in the book of St. Matthew chapter 13 and verse 30. Matthew 13. And verse 30. And verse 30. Let both grow together. You better get at verse 29. At verse 20, we'll start at verse 28. What is he talking about he, here? He said unto them He and, said unto them. An enemy hath done this. The enemy hath done this. Hath done this. The servant said unto him The servant said to him. Wilt thou then that we go and gather them up? Yes. But he said nay. <laughs> what? But he said Will nay. Wilt thou then go and gather go them up? Shall we go gather them up? Shall we collect them? But, what did Jesus say? But he said, nay. No. Lest while ye gather up the tares. Lest while you gather up the tares. He root up also the wheat with them. You see that? That's right. Uh, you see what I'm talking? <laughs> That's right. So, uh, I'm not going to root up the tares no. because I may injure some wheat. Some, eh? So right. I'm going to leave the tares alone and just keep preaching to you. That's it. And this is what I'm going to do here. Nay, lest while you gather up the tares, yes. ye root up also the wheat you with root, them. The reason why, because some tares is intertwined with the wheat. That's right. Eh? That's right. And sometimes if you pull up a tares, the root is so deep, you'll pull up some wheat, but you didn't intend to. That's right. So sometimes there's a tear or tares in the church, yeah. and you get a hold of them and and they're so close to those that are real, and they Preacher. may harm the real ones. That's right. So you don't, don't give that tear special attention. That's right. Just preach to it. That's it. And then let the wheat disconnect itself from the tear. That's right. Hey. Wonderful. Oh, God. Wonderful. Hallelujah to God. Wonderful. What did he say? Let yeah. both grow together. Let what? Let both grow together. What did Jesus say? Let both let grow, both. Both grow let together. Let both. Let both. Let both. Let both let the hypocrite and them that are real grow together. Grow together until the harvest. Until the day of harvest. And in the time of harvest. In the time of harvest. I will say to the reapers. I will say to the reapers. Gather ye together first the tares. Gather these together. Get the tares first. And bind them in bundles to burn bind them. them in bundles so they can go to hell. But gather the wheat. But get the wheat into my barn. Into my barn. You That's see right. that? That's right. The tares got one agenda yeah. and the wheat got another agenda oh, yes. so the tares go where they supposed to go <laughs> and right. the wheat go where they supposed did you hear what the bible talk let both grow together let until both. the harvest let both glory to god amen let both like that let both grow together 
Uh, if I have homosexuals here, men on the down low and all that stuff, I ain't going to throw you out. That's right. I'm going to let you stay here. That's right. And grow along with the weak. That's it. I'm not going to pull you out. I'm not going to do that. No. Uh, no, I'm going to let you grow together. That's right. And then the day of harvest, God will bundle you up and send you to hell. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Anybody that disbelieved the word of God, I ain't throwing you out, man. No, no. I'm going to preach the word of God. That's it. And then when the day of harvest comes, let God bundle you up. Bundle you up. And cast you to hell. That's right. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. Let both grow together. Let both. 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 That's right. Both. Let both grow together. Both grow together. Until the harvest. Until the day of harvest. And in the time of harvest, Thank I will God, say in the to time the reapers. Of harvest, I will say to the reapers. Gather ye together first the tares. Gather. Get the tares first. And buy. I, I want the hypocrites first. For, first. I want the heathens first. <laughs> That's right. Because they sat around the word all this time and yeah. they had a chance to get it right yeah. and they refused right. to do it. So I'm going to get them first. First. That's and right. Gather ye together first the tares. Gather ye together first the Tears. Are you a tear today? Amen. Yeah. That's it. Are you a tear? Oh, yes. Don't tell me how long you've been in the truth of God. I don't care. That's right. Are you a tear? A tear. Do you believe all what the scripture has says? That's it. Huh? That's it. Are you a tear? A tear. Are you just sitting here to blend in? Go you ahead. know, the tear blend in with the weak. Yes. Huh? That's right. You can have tears on the choir, tears in the pulpit, yeah. tears in the congregation, tears that, that are elders, tears that are bishops and deacons and all of that. Thank God. But on the day of harvest glory be to God that's right the great God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob yes. he gonna separate you God knew that's right all right sir. gather you together first the tears yes and bind them in bundles to burn bind them. them up that's right in bundles to burn them to burn them but gather the wheat but you get the wheat into my barn yeah in my barn because I got something good for them good for them all right go back to the book of Galatians everybody all right yeah back listen in, at this back in Galatians 5 and verse 22 all right. But the fruit of the spirit is, is love. The fruit of the spirit. The fruit. fruit is a result of something being planted. That's right. So if the word of God been planted in you, you will have the love of God. That's right. Amen. Some folk always say, why they act like this towards me? Why they do this? I didn't do nothing. Who said you got to do you something for to folk to act like a fool? That's right. That's right. Hey, I hear people talk like that. They're so blind and so deceived. Yeah. Why do folks treat me this way? I'm nice. So what? <laughs> okay, how nice you are. Then anytime they can do what they've done to Jesus, That's who right. is you? That's right. You're not more nicer than him. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. Hey, Amen. He, he come along. It was right. God manifested in the flesh. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says God laid upon him the iniquity of us all. Of us all. He, he come to being the son of man, took the blame for what the world have done. That's that's right. And he didn't do nothing. Nothing. Amen. He didn't do no wrong in him. That's right. There is no wrong. They hated me. Did you hear this? In the book of St. John chapter 15 and verse 25. Hear what the Bible said about how they felt about Jesus. They hated me. They hated me. Without a cause. Without a reason. That's right. So you come along and say, I didn't do wrong to nobody. Why they talk to me like that? Why they treat me like that? Why they look at me like that? <laughs> Why, right. Some folk, they get they just so deep, you know, they say, uh, everybody in church hate me. And you ain't ain't that deep. No, no, not that deep. You ain't that deep. No. You don't need for you to go out that on that far of a limb. You just <laughs> lie. That's you know right. why? You don't know everybody in the church. That's right. There's some folk are so paranoid. Everybody looking at me. Folk can't think about you. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I mean, the thing you should be interested interested in is oh, yeah. looking at yourself. That's it. Focus on yourself. That's right. Now the Bible says the fruits of the spirit is, is love. love. The love of God is perfect. Oh, yes. The love of God is without partiality. That's right. The love of God is forgiveness. Forgiveness. And the love of God don't make false indictments. That's right. The love of God don't make fake accusations. That's right. And the love of God don't mind apologizing. That's right. See, if you had the love of God in you, you would do that. Oh, yes. The love of God makes you cooperative with the scripture. That's right. The love of God will do that. That's right. And the love of God says this, if you have an art against your brother, go to them. Go, go to them. The love of God didn't say, if you have an art against your brother, pray for them. No. It says go to them. Go to them. The reason why I tell you go to them because the Lord knows you prefer praying over them because you don't want to face your problem. <laughs> so you're a high behind. I'm going to pray. The Lord said, uh, you go to them. Go to them. 
Huh? That's right. You better read that. In the book of St. Matthew, chapter 18. All right, you fruity folks. I want to get you real good here. <laughs> That's right. What did he say? St. Matthew, chapter 18, and verse 15. What is it? Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee. Moreover! So I want to say, why are you having problems with that person? Because the Bible says what? Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against Moreover. thee. Moreover. Moreover. And over, over and over. Yes. Well, they don't speak to me when I come to church. Do you speak to them? Well, no. Then shut your mouth up then. That's right. Huh? That's Why right. are you complaining about them? Yeah. I'll wait for them to speak to me. Who are you that got to wait? That's right. Who are you, Queen Esther or mm. Brother Absalom? <laughs> well, right. I spoke to them. They didn't speak to me. Speaking every time don't take nothing from you. That's right. Huh? That's right. These little childish and kindergarten attitude. That's my truck. That's my truck. I'll shut your mouth. That's right. Hey, because you both, you might as well get along right here or go to hell from here. From here. Huh? That's right. Did you hear what I said? Moreover. Take note of that. Write it down. Right, get along right, right here right that or down. go to hell from here. <laughs> That's uh -huh. right. Take that. Write it down. <laughs> write it down. And the next time you commit is make a Bible marker. Put that quote on there. That's right. Get along right here, right here or go to hell from here. That's right. Uh -huh. take, take note of that. That. Take, take note Come of that. on, sir. St. Matthew chapter 18 and <laughs> verse 15. You know I'm enjoying myself, isn't you? <laughs> That's right. Yes, see? Yes, I am. That's right. Oh, thank God. Amen. What did he say? Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against Moreover, thee. Moreover. Moreover. If your brother shall trespass is repetitious mm -hmm. and doing wrong against thee, go, go your brother your or brother. your sister. That's right. This is how you deal with it. Go and tell him his fault. Go run to somebody else. Go and tell him his fault. Go and slander them through testimony. Go and tell him his Go fault. email and talk about him. Go and tell him his Go fault. Go send a bunch of a text blasts. Go and tell him his fault. Go tell the preacher first. Go and tell him. Shut your mouth and do it the way Jesus said do it. Go and or tell don't him. do it at all. That's right. That's right. I don't care how much you speak in tongue. Amen. Thank God. This is Bible order here. Order. And when you deal with the order of the Bible, God Almighty, he laid down guidelines for you to follow, not to shout over it. That's right. Here, this is written, and That's you right. somewhere speaking in tongue. When your tongue is over, come back to this. That's it. You can jump around, talk about this. All right, when you're done, you better itch over. In itch over. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And obey that scripture right here. That's right. Huh? Moreover. You can jump and shout and shout and shout and the scripture over there and you way over here when you're done shouting. When you're done. When you're done. <laughs> Go and tell him his fault. That's right. This book is not made to shout over, speak in tongue over, pray over, and it's not made to sit and complain over. That's right. He came in the flesh to show us how to live this life. That's right. He left us an example that we should follow his steps, his steps, his steps. not your steps. That's right. When you try to follow your steps, you're not following the seed that's been seed. planted by the Lord. That's right. You're just as bad as the fake fruit that my father tried to eat. Amen. Huh? Amen. Go to God, and it wasn't digestible. That's right. Huh? That's right. Come on, son. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass again. Thing. I want all of you watching to hear this good and see, can you shout over this? Over this. Speak in tongue over this. Oh, yes. Pray over this. That's right. I got people writing me now. Why don't you go to T.D. Jakes and talk to him face to face about his wrong? First and foremost, let me straighten you millions of viewers out. Mm -hmm. yeah. I speak what I know. Right. And testify to what I see. I don't know all that other stuff that, other that he was accused of. Right. So I'm just dealing with doctrine, what he preached about homosexuality. Right. And not only that, the Bible said if you had an ought against him, and many of you said, well, if, if your brother be overtaken in a the fault, uh, they quote that scripture to me, yeah. you which are spiritual resources to, to one in the spirit of meekness, uh, considering thyself unless you also be tempted. Yes, I believe that. Yeah. But the key thing that you ever miss is say, uh, if a brother, brother, he's not my brother. Right. He's not my if brother. A man be overtaken. Yeah. That's right. Hey, you don't believe in the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. You ain't my brother. Right. You condone homosexuality. No, you ain't my brother. Right. I and mean, you being black don't make you my brother. Yes. I mean, no, the street is black. The street is not my brother. Brother in. <laughs> That's right. That's uh -huh. right. That's right. 
There's a scripture that said, if one be called, call the brother. Call the brother. Right. You can be called a brother. That don't make you a brother. That's right. Then the apostles are true brother. Oh, yeah. They spoke the same thing That's that it. Jesus spoke. That's right. So because he's in the pulpit, thank God, and jumping around, flapping his arms, that don't make you my brother. No. When you my brother, indeed, you believe. What Jesus gave his apostles, you preach. What Jesus gave his apostles, you stand That's on right. what Jesus gave his apostles. Not because you got the name Jesus in your mouth. No. No. Oh, no. Just because you got the name Jesus in your mouth, that don't make you my brother. That's right. Nobody. Nobody. It's my brother. Let, listen, let what Jesus said. Mm -hmm. Who is my mother? Yes. Sister. Bro and brother. Brother. But he that doeth the will. the will of my father That's right. which is in heaven That's right. the same the same, same. the same, same is my brother sister and mother and I believe that. believe that I believe that that's right eh? that's right glory to God come on son that's right come on now let's have it back, back the way you are back in the book of Matthew 18 and verse 15 follow me God more if thy brother shall transgress against thee if your brother transgress against thee go you. and tell him his fault go and tell him his, his fault. fault between thee and him alone <laughs> amen do you hear that? Go and tell him his fault. His fault. Between thee and him alone. There ain't no time for you to get in the spirit with someone telling you your fault. You may as well come out that spirit. Come out that spirit. <laughs> huh? That's right. Because you can get out of all the spirit you want. When you that go to them, uh, when they get in the spirit, just sit down. Just <laughs> wait till they're done. That's right. And when they get in the spirit and go all to the other side. Oh, That's Jesus. right. When they end up over there and turn around, you're right there waiting. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> The word of God says how to do it. Go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. Alone. Don't alone. bring him to me first. That's right. Don't bring him to no preacher first. No. Don't bring him to one of the mothers first. Amen. Don't go to your husband first. Don't bring it and to me. And don't go to your wife first. That's right. And don't run and bring it to William so he can bring it to me. <laughs> That's right. God gave specific instructions. And when you don't follow that, you're sinning. That's right. Did you hear me? That's right. In order for you to be the fruit of Christ, That's right. you got to follow the guidelines of the chief farmer. That's right. Huh? That's right. Glory take God here, here, here. Don't go telling me, well, I did that, but I don't want to hear that. No. I went to one that didn't work. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> That's that right. scripture remains as long as you on the planet Earth. That's right. All right. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass Moreover, against thee, that means it happened repetitiously. Repetitiously. If your brother shall transgress against thee, go and tell him his fault. Love will do that. Oh yeah. Yes, it will. Simon's quick to say, "Well, if they love, they wouldn't done what they done." All right. <laughs> but if you love, then you would do this. That's right. That's right. That's right. Huh? Come on, sir. Go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. Alone. If he shall hear thee. If he. If. If. Because the Lord knows possibly that he won't. He won't. That's right. That's right. If he shall hear thee. Thou hast gained thy brother. You know, it's hard to gain a brother or a sister today. Yes, it is. Because there's just some people, they are evil by nature. <laughs> mean right. by nature. Have you ever met people that are mean spirited? Yeah. I don't care how, and they treat everybody like dirt. Right. Their children, their mother, their father, their husband, their wife, they are not nice to nobody. 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 That's right. Hey Amen. Some folks like to blame it on the devil. Stop giving the devil all them cre all that credit. Amen. Not always the devil. Sometimes we're just made up. We're just an evil man evil or an evil woman, and we're not good enough for nobody. That's right. Huh? That's right. It's like somebody. Everything they touch just dissolves. <laughs> That's turn right. to ashes. That's right. Hey, you get what I'm telling you? Moreover, if thy brother trespass against if thee, if your brother shall transgress against you, go and tell him his fault between. Between thee and him alone. Alone. If he shall hear thee. If. If. The Bible said if he hear. Because the Lord knows that some folks so stubborn, they ain't not going to hear you. No. They're sitting, look at you, but they won't hear you. That's right. There's a difference between listening and hearing. Oh, yes. And then the Bible says, if they will hear thee. Thou hast gained thy brother. Then you gain them. But if he will not hear thee. If. 
They will not hear you. Then take with thee one or two more. Then you bring one or two more. This is when you get one or two more witnesses. That's right. And that in the mouth of two or three witnesses every word, word may be established. established. And if he shall neglect to hear them. And then. Tell it unto the church. If they still don't want to hear. That's right. Then you tell it to the church. That's but, when them that is of authority get involved. That's right. And then settle the matter. That's right. Uh -huh. But if he neglect to hear the church. And if they don't want to hear the church. Let him be unto thee as a heathen man and a publican. Then they are dismissed. Dismissed. Because when you don't want to hear the authority of the church, there's no need for you to be around the church. That's true. Uh -huh. That's right. All right, then go back to Galatia now. Now, the fruits of the Spirit is what? Back in Galatians 5 and verse 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love. All right, love. You have compassion. Let us not miss interpret love as always being nice and willy nilly and already <laughs> fuzzy and fuzzy. always <laughs> really good. <laughs> not that. That's, that's right. not all. That's a little easy interpretation of love. Mm -hmm. People over the air say that, that man preach with a hanger all the time <laughs> and because they, they want me to sound what they call loving. They want me to sound like the Benny Hens and the Creflo O'Dollars and the Joel Alstein and hey man, they want me to sound like these worms that done infiltrated <laughs> right. the apples of the Lord. That's right. Huh? That's right. No, love is truth. Oh, yes. Because the Bible speaks plain, God is love. God is love. Thank God when I tell you the truth from the word of God, I'm giving you the greatest expression of love that can possibly be given. That's right. All right, Sandy. But the fruit of the Spirit the is love. The fruit of the Spirit is love. Joy. What? Joy. You're not going to have joy all the time. No. And because one may have joy, that doesn't mean they may be up and clapping and bouncing around. Uh, joy can fill your heart. That's right. And you're not jumping around, you're not waving your hand or nothing, but you feel good down inside. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Glory to God. It's joy. Here. Joy. Uh -huh. Peace. What? Peace. My God, man, the greatest peace under the sun is what God gives. Oh, yes. Because there are some people, they are not peaceable at all. That's right. Hey, man, when I, you know, I used to watch a cartoon, uh, Charlie Brown. <laughs> and there was one fellow who always had a cloud of dust around him. Amen. Pig's pen. Pig pen. And, he, and, no, and, and in other words, he stinked all the time. Oh, that's right. Dirty all the time. Even had little flies in it. That's right. That's the way some people are. Yeah. They are so disruptive every time disruptive. they come. Yeah. You know there's a hurricane or a tsunami yes. or a storm coming with them. That's right. Because there are some people, every time you meet them or talk with them, they're just unpleasant. Unpleasant. Morning, noon, and night. Night. That's right. Huh? That's right. Every time you deal with them, Every something time. gonna go wrong. Yes. There's gonna be a mess made. That's right. Hey Amen. They're gonna disturb the dinner, turn over the table. <laughs> They're gonna right. make the lemonade sour all over again. That's right. Huh? That's right. Amen. Amen. There's some people just that disruptors. They are negative. Have you ever met people negative all the time? All the time. There are some people, they don't like to hear nothing good. No. Hey Amen. If you're a positive person and nice and humble, eh, you're not going to get along with a person who's uh, mean-spirited and evil and confrontational. That's right. Y'all going to be butting heads all the time. All the time. Hey Amen. The Bible says you can't get sweet and the bitter water, water from, the, from same the same fountain. That's why a person go who's ahead. motivated to go forward cannot hang around constantly. A person oh. that's negative and don't want to go nowhere. Nowhere. That's right. Can't do it. That's right. That's why when any brother come to me and say, Pastor Jennings, I want to start a business, I'm encouraged him. Go ahead. Go ahead. Any sister come to me, Pastor Jennings, I want to do this. Go ahead. That's Pastor right. Jennings, I want to get this degree. Go ahead. Yeah. Pastor Jennings, I want to I accomplish this. Go ahead. I'm encouraging you. That's right. To reach for the highest height, but keep God first at all times. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Keep God first oh, yeah. at all times. Oh, yeah. Thank God I know and understand Wonderful. the importance of keeping God first. The reason why you want to keep God first because if you become, if you accomplish yeah. what you set out to do by you keeping God first, your accomplishments won't cloud your judgment. That's right. Yes, 
Huh? That's right. And you won't allow your accomplishments to compromise your faith. That's right. You are be hallelujah. You remain steadfast. Oh yeah. Out of all your accomplishments, hallelujah. your accomplishments won't interfere with your roots That's in right. the gospel. That's right. Huh? That's it. Amen. I look at all the accomplishments that God has blessed us to accomplish yeah. with churches all around the world and thousands yes. of people. Not one time Wonderful. did they interfere. Thank God with my judgment in the scriptures. That's right. I didn't look at the crowd and say, well, we're not going to preach this no more. Not that. Oh, I no. look at the crowd and say, let's hold the reins tight. Hold the reins. Yeah. That's right. And in fact, let's make it not where the not already exists. That's right. Let's make it tighter. That's it. Amen. Why? I'm determined to lead the people right Wonderful. by any God-given means necessary. Wonderful. What did he say, sir? But the fruit of the Spirit is love. The fruit or the results of God is love. Joy. Joy. Peace. Peace. Love. That's what I love. Peace. I'd rather have peace than have money. Oh, yeah. I'd rather have peace than have friendship. Yeah. I'd rather have peace than have anything under the sun. Peace. That's right. God, if you can't bring peace, don't get around me. Stay away from Stay me. Stay away. How far? In the, in the land, how far, far away. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Amen. How far do you walk me, Pastor Dennis? Amen. In the land, or far, far away. Far, you take far, Route right. 1, make a left turn on uh, the road of confusion, and go down the alley of despair, go and you'll be man. in the land of far, far, far away. That's right. Lord, thank God. That's right. Do you get what I'm telling you? Amen. You know, sometimes when you want to accomplish something you can't tell everybody no no man because if they don't have that vision yeah they'll criticize what you want to do yes they will or they may have had that vision that's right and because their vision didn't fall through they think yours won't fall through right well, what about the scriptures that says rejoice? Rejoice. With them that do that, rejoice. That's right. If you become successful and get the car you want, the house you want, the job you want, Go the ahead. payment you want, then I should be glad for you. Yeah, that's right. Huh? That's right. I should. When you say thank God, I should be in your amen corner. Thank God. That's right. Go ahead. That's right. It's wonderful. Lord, they got why? Wonderful. The planting of the Lord of beat down in your soul. That's right. Come on, son. But the fruit of the Spirit is love. The fruit, the results of God is love. Joy. Joy. Peace. Peace. Long suffering. What? Long suffering. How long? Long suffering. How long? Long suffering. Three days? Long suffering. Three years? Long suffering. Thirty years? Long suffering. But we don't know how long is long suffering. That's right. And uh, here God is long suffering to us. With. To us with. And uh, we have to suffer long. Oh yes. And one thing I say about long suffering is like when a farmer plants seed mm -hmm. to grow that crop, that crop go through suffering. That's right. All type of storm, all type of insects, sometimes rain, sometimes no rain. No rain. And it damaged the earth, it damaged the leaves. Sometimes the farmer come out if there's no rain, he look over the leaves and he sometimes, oh Lord, please help. Do Please. something, and then sometimes it rained, then it rained too much. That's right. And then all of a sudden it drowned his crops. That's and right. now none of his crops is no good. He got to start over. Yes. He got to do his first works That's over. over. Sometimes you got to do your first works over again, yes. over again, over again, until you become the way God wants you to become. That's right. And to do that, it takes long, long suffering. suffering. Don't Wonderful. repeat to God. Wonderful. What did he say, son? Long suffering. How long? Long suffering. And we don't want to suffer long. No. Who? Nobody. Nobody. We would put a time limit on our suffering. Oh, yes. And some of us would say, well, how long I got to keep going through this? Well, I don't know. <laughs> no, don't know. <laughs> don't ask me nothing. I don't know. That's right. The Bible just says. Long suffering. How long? Long suffering. How long do you got to suffer with? Long suffering. How long do I got to suffer, Pastor Jennings? Long suffering. How long do you got to suffer, church? Long suffering. Let us all say it together. <laughs> long suffering. <laughs> 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 Go and thank God. That's right. You might as well, you might as well get it out of you. That's right. Maybe some of you look like you've been suffering long. <laughs> <laughs> Glory be to God. Amen. Fellas, oh, yes. you've got to suffer long. Oh, yes. In order for a productive crop yeah. to grow naturally, that crop 
is productive, but it goes through long suffering. Long suffering. But the farmer is glad yes. when he goes through that crop oh, yeah. and he and he got the right kind of harvest. Right. He drives the machines and harvests his crop. He's happy. Oh yes. Thank God because his reward is at the end. That's he right. got a straw hat on and got a twig in his mouth That's and he's right. humming in that tractor. <laughs> uh, right. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Since I leave my Spirit him down, glory, glory. That's right. He's glad. He's glad. He bring his crop and Wonderful. sell it. He get that check for them thousands. He walking out there, glory be to God. This light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. <laughs> He's happy, I said. That's right. But the crop. That's right. Long suffering. Long This suffering. is what we're laboring for. Oh, yes. Payday. That's it. Huh? What is payday? Yeah. When the Lord comes. That's right. For the church, that's payday. That's right. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to be one of the grain of wheat Preach that's it, not damaged by the weather. That's right. Huh? That's right. When God inspect this one specific grain of wheat oh, yes. and look me over, I want to make sure there's no water damage. That's right. There's no sunburn. Go ahead. Now, when he check out my roots, I want him to know my roots is deep and deep. been deep until he Preach it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. That's right. He going to inspect every stock of grace. Every, stock. every individual going to give an account to God for the deeds done in their body. That's right. So repeat to God. Did you get what I'm telling you? Long suffering. Long suffering. Gentleness. What? Gentleness. All right. Gentle. 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 Oh, yeah, man. When you're gentle, you know, a lot of folk mistake gentleness for weakness. Yeah. Like some folk mistake anger for being rude. That's right. And they're being rude and disrespectful. That, uh, or should I say they mistake strength yeah. for being rude being and being disrespectful. Yeah. They call that strength. That's not strength. You're just foolish. <laughs> That's right. You're not strong. You're just foolish. Uh, right. Meekness is not weakness. No. Gentle is not weakness. That's right. When you're gentle, you're just kind. You know, yeah. there's some folk can't handle kindness. Yeah. You know, when you're kind, they think you, you're up to something. It's true. That's, that's, isn't that crazy? That's true. You mean to tell when you give me a, a bundle of roses and, and you say, Pastor Jennings, I just want you to have these roses. I was thinking of it. <laughs> and then I say, well, what you giving me the roses for? <laughs> that's right. Did you spray them with something? That's right. You know, there's some folk that get something negative out of everything. That's true. That's true. They are use. They are not use. To nobody being kind. Being kind. If you're a man or a woman yeah. living your life and you're not used to kindness coming your way at all until you use unrighteous judgment yeah. upon a kind man or a kind woman and now you think they got something up their sleeve because they're just being kind to you. Right. You will miss out on a lot of blessings yes, that somebody may want to do for you or give you because you are too busy judging them. That's right. You want right. somebody to give you a benefit of a doubt? Be so, kind enough and gentle kind. enough to give everyone else a benefit of a doubt. That's right. If somebody messed up 30 years ago, don't try to use the same judgment now. That's Who right. Who to say they didn't change? Yeah. Huh? Oh, yes. They could have changed. Oh, yes. You don't want to use the same judgment that you used 30 years ago. You should be wiser, sharper, and smarter and in smart. God. That's right. Do you hear this? Long suffering. Glory be to God. Long suffering. Gentleness. What? Gentleness. Gentle. Gentle. Gentleness don't mean because you talk, uh, you're soft and meek. And that mean that that can be a front. That's true. Hey Amen. Even a lion purr. Mm. Don't change the fact. You get mm. too close, he'll bite your head off. Yes, he will. Huh? That's right. Hey Amen. Sometimes when that snake is laying there coiled up, he looks so gentle. Yeah. Skin <laughs> looks so beautiful. Get too close to it. When he started, especially the rattlesnake, when he started rattling, yeah. he let you know you better back up, buddy. <laughs> That's right. If I'm going to strike you. That's right. How is it today that many of so many people of God is some of the most evil, arrogant? <laughs> Listen, let me educate you. 
When a sinner come into God's house, that's where they should be. Right. And if anything, you should make the sinner welcome first. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Amen. One of my sisters was telling me how she came to one of the conventions, the last convention uh, in Greensboro uh, last year. And when I had a meeting with her, and when she left my office, there was a sister that grabbed her hair. My Lord. And the sister said, wait, wait, what are you doing? And the sister that grabbed her hair said, I just wanted to see, was it a wig or was it real? What wow. is it to you? What kind of foolish, arrogant, wow. self-righteous thing is that? That's right. Your hands ain't got no business on nobody body. Who are you? That's right. Who made you a ruler? That's right. And a judge o over us. Over us. If her hair is fake, don't you bother her. Let the gospel bother her. That's it. That's right. No mother in the church, no yeah. sister in the church, no female in the church had the right to right. touch another woman's hair Go to ahead. find out whether it's fake or real. The Bible don't give you that authority. No. Get your hands off their body before they sue you. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's Stop right. taking authority in your hands. Who are you? Who are you? Right. You get the fakeness out of your head. Yeah. Well, Pastor Jennings, you preach against wigs. Let me preach against Let it. You, that's right. Not you go test it. That's right. Let me do my job yeah. and you stay in your place. Amen. Amen. Hear what I'm telling you? That's right. No, sister. Hear Amen. me, hear me, hear me, hear me, God. Amen. The sister was so traumatized, she laid out, she laid out of church for a while. Mm. And to, I didn't find out until months later. She called me. She said, Pastor Jennings, I haven't been to church since. I said, why? She told me why. She said, I was so traumatized, I felt threatened at church. Wow. Nobody should feel, feel, should feel threatened. No. If you have a sister's meeting, who are you to go touch women's hair? That's right. If you can't have a sister's meeting without touching women's hair, the one that's touching you sit down. Yeah. You ain't got no business touching their hair, touching it. Don't do nothing. Don't do nothing. But follow what is written here. That's it. Do no more. Do no more. Do no less. Do no less. If a sister got a wig on or fake hair, just let me preach it off. That, that's it. Let the word of God convict their that's heart. That's right. And let me preach it off. That's it. That's it. None of your business. None of your business. Whether it's fake or real. That's right. Are you fake or are you real? Amen. Amen. If it's fake or real, you still treat them like a sister. That's right. Well, she's not up to it, and you're not up to something, too. Oh, yes. Oh, every sister that's in First Church oh, is not up to the word of God. No. There's not one. No. I, you better not stand and tell me you are. I'll tell you, I'll show you that you're not. <laughs> There's right. not one sister in America, uh, Africa, India, Ethiopia, My Dubai, Lord. the Middle East, uh, mm. across the Atlantic, across the Pacific. That's up to everything, everything. God said. That's right. Not one. Not one. Imagine a mother going to bring her sister in my office. Pastor Jenny, she got a wig on. All right. How do you know? Do you well, know? I, I made her uncover her head, and I saw her hair all the way. Wait, wait, wait a minute. You don't went too far. I went too far. Right. I mean, the Bible says exact no, no more. No more than that which is appointed you. What the Bible says? In the book of St. Luke, chapter 3, and verse 13. And, what? and he said unto them, exact no more. Don't you go farther. Than that which is appointed than you. Than what you've been told. That's it. When you do that, you sin. That's right. right. Huh? That's right. And man, the sister hair was grabbed so bad she had whiplash. What? And was in the hospital. Oh, good Lord. And a disc was dislocated in her neck. What? <sighs> my Lord, my Lord. That's too much. <laughs> you ain't got that much Holy Ghost that a monkey can scratch his fleas off of him. That's right. Did you hear me? My Lord. No sister. No mother. Nobody. Nobody. Here, I got the gospel. You don't see me trying to lift brother's hair up no. to see is it real? 
<laughs> Not much to lift, Pastor. Huh? <laughs> you don't see me doing that. That's right. You can't scale a fish until you catch the that's, fish. That's right. Oh. If a sister come in with pants on, leave her alone. Leave her alone. Let the Bible clean her up. That's right. If they come in with earrings on, leave her alone. Leave her alone. I was talking to a new young couple last night. Uh, he came up and his wife come up and a little baby came up. They had little pearls around the baby. They had, the wife had little earrings on. I didn't bother them. No. They know what I preach. I just preach the word of God. That's it. Uh, well, well, I'm going to let the word of God clean them up. And in due time, they'll disconnect all of it. That's right. Huh? That's right. When you did, when you do and obey this stuff and start taking off this and taking off that, if you do it just because somebody gave, uh, got on you, yeah. but you didn't do it from in here, right? You doing it because somebody get on you, you're not going to accomplish nothing. That's right. Because if you take it off just to come to church, you're going to put it back on when oh, you yeah. go out there among the public. Amen. But when God gets your heart, that's it. You're going to take it off and leave it off. That's right. Hey, That's right. You're going to take it off and leave it off. Leave it off. Wonderful. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Amen. Amen. That thing hurt me to my heart. Yeah. Grabbing somebody's hair to find out whether it's real or fake. What do you think you get so much authority? Yeah. Why would you think it's all right to do to put your hands on another person? On another person. Why, they can take you to court because the Bible said the law is made for the lawless. For the lawless and they can sue you. That's right. Huh? That's right. They lay hands suddenly on no man. No man. Nobody. That's the Bible. That's the Bible. The Bible said lay hands suddenly, suddenly. on no man. No man. Lay hands suddenly. Sisters better not nobody. lay hands on nobody. <laughs> nobody. Nobody. Huh? That's right. Hear me. Hear me good now. I'm, I'm still working on the fruits of the spirit. Still the fruits. Well, see, that was an act of a bad apple. <laughs> that was a bad apple. A bad apple. Hey, man. Bad fruit, you know. Bad fruit. Strange fruit. That's right. Uh -huh. All right, son. Gentleness. What? Gentleness. That's not gentle. No. That's not gentle. Oh, no. Be gentle. Gentle. Hey, Amen. If sisters come to church, that's not safe. Who are you to look them up and down? That's right. You're the, you was the same way. Right. And some of you probably are still the same way. <laughs> if they got pants on, leave them alone. Leave them alone. If they got lipstick on, leave them alone. Right. Hey, Amen. They got their hair cut short, leave them alone. That's they right. They're bareheaded, leave them alone. They got rings on every finger, leave them alone and just let me preach the let word. Preach. Don't you do my job. That's right. Let me do my job. That's right. Thank God and God knows with God's help I can do a good job. Amen. Amen. Yeah? Amen. Amen. And the word of God cleaned many of you up, didn't it? Oh, yeah. If they clean you up, it can clean them up. Oh, yes. Blessed be the name of God. That's Come right. on, son. Gentleness. Gentleness. Goodness. What? Goodness. Be good. Be good. Hey, man, because a sinner come in with pants on, you looking at them up and down, mm -hmm. and there's a saint standing next to him. You overlook the sinner and address the saint like you so much better. You ain't better. Not better. I don't care if your dress is so long to cover all this room. That's right. You ain't better. No. Anytime you're not living by the word of God, you ain't better. That's right. None whatsoever. None God whatsoever. didn't save you to look down upon the sinner. No. Well, the Bible said, greater is he that is in you than that he is that in is you. in the world. The scripture you just quoted didn't say you were greater. That's right. It says, greater is, is he, he that, that is, is in you. In you. In you. That's, that's God. That's God. It didn't say you're greater. It says he that's in you. In you. In you. Otherwise, in that, you got a whole lot to come up to just That's like everybody truth. else. That's right. And if you examine yourself real close, you may find yourself you're still a sinner. Mm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh -huh. All right now. Goodness. We're getting close to harvest time. That's right. What? Goodness. Be good. Be good. Don't you be grabbing no sister's hair. Don't explain to me why you've done it. Mm. There ain't nobody justified to be such a fool. That's right. Bible said you're fool and slow of heart. Slow Believe heart. all what the prophet said. That's right. Huh? That's right. Goodness. Faith. Goodness. Goodness. Be good. That's it. Faith. Yeah. Believe Faith. God. That's right. Believe what's written here. That's right. Believe the word of God. Yes. When you believe what's written, then you are follow that if you believe it. If you believe it. Are you listening? That's right. Hey Amen. Meekness. What? Meekness. Humble. Amen. Word of God tell you go to him or go to her. Who are you to say? I ain't doing nothing. Who are you? Wait a minute. Wait, Wait a, a minute. minute. 
Who do you think you are? Wait a minute. That's right. The Bible says gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness. Be meek. Meekness. If you're buffered for your fault, take it out patiently. Go. That's right. Meekness. Meekness. Be able to accept reproof, rebuke with humility. With humility. Be meek about it. That's right. Not rise up and ready to fight. That's right. Huh? That's right. You're talking about a person behind their back, they want you say it to their face. Yeah. What it look like Williams, his brother Joseph's sitting right there, and Williams come to me. Well, how Joseph do? Well, Joseph, Joseph right there. Why don't you ask him? <laughs> well, I right. don't want to ask him. Then you really don't want to know how the man is doing. That's right. That's true. You know, people do that, you know. <laughs> oh, did you, uh, how's brother so-and-so doing? Brother so-and-so, they looking to see the man right there, or see the sister right there, why don't you go to them and ask them? Then they think you're being smart. Yeah. Why don't you go to them and ask them? Oh, I, I don't want to ask them. You, you really don't want to know how they're doing them. That's right. Because if you was interested at all, that's right. You would go to that brother or go to that sister. You go to him. You know, it's hard to get into the kingdom of God because you know you what you got to do? Hmm. You got to overcome your own feelings. That's right. And your own feelings are going to cause many of us to be lost. That's right. Uh -huh. Meekness. Be humble. Temperance. What? Temperance. Self-control. Amen. When you got self-control, uh, you know how to govern yourself. Yeah. Many don't have self-control, self not even an attitude. Mm. Yeah, if they get angry at the dropping of a hat. That's true. Amen. That's true. Self-control. Self be, be temperance. Amen. Don't practice getting all what you can get because you can get it. That's right. God may put you in a predicament, in a predicament where you can't get those things. Yeah. But being that you learn discipline and self-control, you know how to govern yourself when you can't get it. That's right. Uh -huh. Against such, there is no law. Against such, there is no law. There is no law. No now, law. this is the fruit of the Spirit. Fruits of the Spirit. And these fruits of the Spirit comes as a result of the Word of the God seed. being planted. That's right. Now, it takes the preacher to plant the Word of God and you must evolve around God's Word. That's it. On God's terms. That's right. 15th chapter of the book of uh, St. John. St. John we're going to have verse 1 quickly now. I am the true vine and my father is the husband I am husband the true man. vine and my father is the husband man. Every branch, every in, branch me in me that bears not that fruit. That don't bear fruit. He taketh away. He's going to get rid of it. And every branch that bears fruit. Every branch that bears fruit. He purges it. He purges it. That it may bring he forth purges more it. fruit. You know, God, you know, a uh, tree man, uh, someone who know how to keep grounds, yeah. they pry on a tree. That's right. So it can bloom more. That's right. And that's what the word of God does. They cut a shot. Shot. It's pruning you. Oh, yes. So you can grow stronger. That's right. And any, anybody that yeah. wants to grow stronger and grow larger in God, larger. don't mind being pruned. Oh, yes. Huh? Amen. All right, son. He purchased it that it may bring forth more fruit. Yes. Now you are clean through now the word. Now you are clean through God's teaching. Which I have spoken unto which you. Which spoke to you. Abide in me. What? Abide in me. Stay in the word. And I in you. You see that? That's right. You see, stay in Jesus here, stay in you. That's and right. And the way you stay in Jesus, you stay in his teaching. Oh, yes. For he said, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit, spirit. and they are life. For you have to stay in the word and the word of God to stay in you. You can go to church all you want. That doesn't mean you're standing in the Word. No. You can talk about Jesus, sing about Jesus, read the Bible from cover to cover, mm -hmm. and brag about how you read the whole Bible five times in <laughs> one month. That's right. Who cares? Who cares? Thank God. If you don't stay in the word, that's right. Then it don't help you none. No. Uh -huh. Abide in me and I Abide in Abide in it. Abide in me. Abide in it. And Don't I, worry about whether somebody else is abiding in it or not. You worry about yourself. Abide in it. Abide in Stay me. Stay in it. And I in you. And I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself. Do you hear that? Amen. Branch don't bear fruit of itself because the branch is connected to the tree. That's right. You can't grow on your own. Your you own. got to get your increase from God. That's right. Huh? That's right. If you step away from God, you affect your increase. Amen. You step aside from the word of God, you won't have your increase. That's right. This is why so many of us emotionally, spiritually, <laughs> mentally, is still in the same spiritual rut. That's right. 
Because you step aside. Step aside. From God's word. That's right. Worrying about this brother. Worrying about that sister. And here they ain't thinking about you. They done went on and served the Lord. Amen. Amen. They done moved on and served God. That's true. And you mad at the fact because they moved on. What they supposed to do? Be parked and looked at you? <laughs> That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. If you got any sense, you'll move on yourself. Oh, yes. Huh? Abide in me. What? Abide in me. Stay in the spirit. Amen. When I say stay in the spirit, I don't mean you walking around speaking in tongue and shouting all the time and always shaking. I don't mean that. No. <laughs> the Bible says the words that I, that speak, I speak unto you, they are spirit. Yes. And they are life. Stay in the spirit means stay in the scriptures. That's right. Stay in the spirit means stay with God's teaching. That's it. Ah, That's right. Come on, son. Abide in me. Stay in me. And I in you. And I in you. Do you hear that? Amen. Stay in his word and I in you. Young people, middle-aged people, and old people. Yeah. Stay in the word. That's it. And I in you. And to do that, you got to stay in the teaching. That's right. You can't stay in something you don't know. No. See, a lot of us would do better if we had somebody to teach us. Oh, yes. Otherwise, no, we're just surviving by instinct. That's true. Or just doing the best we can. That's right. But the best we can is not good enough. Amen. We have to do it the way God wants us to do it. That's right. Amen. I want to say to you that are here, you that are listening in, you got to get the planting of God's Thank word you, in you. And this is why many of you in your churches, you're nothing but dead crop. That's right. Dead crop. That's right. No water. No water. No preaching. Yeah. Dead crop. Dead crop. God want good crop. That's right. Huh? That's right. He won't settle for nothing less no, no. than good crop. Oh, yes. Now, how determined are you to be one of the good plants? Good plants. So God can come harvest you. That's right. At the day of his arrival. That's right. I want to be harvested by the Lord. I don't care if I'm never harvested by people. I don't even care about that. <laughs> you know, a lot of folk get all bent out of shape. She don't love me. He don't love me. I don't care if nobody loves me. <laughs> as long as I have the love of Christ. I really mean that. <laughs> and I, when you've been betrayed as much as I have, yeah. you done been betrayed, disrespected, slandered. Amen. You don't help people and the same people spit in your face Hello. over and over and over and over and you've been patient with those same people over and over and over man I just concluded Lord you may as well just come on and love me call it a day <laughs> That's right. give me the love of the father of the father the That's people right. love you all right but if they don't it's all right too yeah glory to God do you love me well I love you Pastor. yeah all right. <laughs> <laughs> do you love me Pastor? yeah I love you well. <laughs> I love you I know <laughs> <laughs> Come on, son. Abide in me. Stay in them. And I in you. I want to encourage all of you here. Stay in the scriptures. That's right. And you that have never been in it, it's time for you to start to get in it. Oh, yes. And the way to get in it, it starts off by hearing the word hearing of God. The word. And then the word of God will move your heart into repentance. That's right. God, this sorrow, thanks be unto God, worketh repentance. Worketh repentance. Come on, son. Abide in me and I in you. Stay in him. Here, stay. That's good. That's good. What more? can you ask? That's right. Stay in him and I in you. He promised. Oh yes. And I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself. The branch can uh, grow on its own. Except it abide in the vine. Except it stay in the vine. No more can ye except ye abide in me. Do you hear that? Amen. How do you expect to grow doing it outside, outside. of God's will? That's right. You have to come on back to Bible. That's right. Come on back to Scripture. Oh, yes. And do it on scriptural order. That's right. Otherwise than that, you're just wasting time. I oh, don't yes. care if you're a preacher, deacon, elder, bishop, apostle, prophet, evangelist. Amen. You're just doing nothing but wasting time going to church. That's right. You're just wasting time. Yeah. Until you come on back and conclude. I'm going to do it just like the Bible. You, you're not going to do it that way? Stay home. Stay home. That's right. Huh? That's right. If you're a preacher out there, stay home. Oh, yes. If you already got a church, you might as well stay home or <laughs> just use your offering table to eat. <laughs> eat dinner, eat, eat some fish and chips and, hey amen, a few collard greens here and there, turnip greens and 
lima beans. Your wife asked you, what you doing? I'm going to hell, so I may as well just eat. Yeah, you may as well eat. <laughs> I, ain't doing, I don't want to do what God said do. That's right. Amen. So I may as well just turn this table to a dining table and eat because I'm a dying go to hell. Amen. Amen. The Bible says he's going to gather the tares and bundle them up. Bundle them up. And cast them into the fire. That's right. Come on, son. Abide in me and I in you. Yes. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself. All right. Except it abide in the vine. Yes. No more can ye except ye abide in me. Uh -huh. I in the vine. Here, Amen. Jesus says, I'm divine. I am the one that cover you. That's it. Uh -huh. Ye are the branches. What? Ye are the branches. Ye are the branches. You are the ones that come from me. He that abideth in me. Glory to God. Wonderful. He that stay in him. And I in him. And I in him. The same. The same. Bringeth forth much fruit. Much fruit. Much fruit. Much fruit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is that Bible? That's Bible. The same. The same bringeth forth much fruit. Now listen. Amen. You that don't have much fruit, the Bible let you know why. That's right. The Bible says what? I am the vine. Listen to that detail. St. John 15 I, and verse 5. I am the vine, he meaning the I, I am the one that cover you. That's right. I am the one you need to get out of your rut. That's right. You know there's some vine so strong you can use it to climb up on. Yeah. That's to get true. out of a bad place. That's right. Jesus is the one you can climb up on. That's right. He'll pull you out of a bad place. That's right. But you got to believe in him. That's it. I am the vine. I am the vine. Ye are the branches. You are the branches. He that abideth in me. He that stay in me. And I in him. And I in him. The same. Listen. Amen. The same. Bring it forth much fruit. That's plain. That's plain. So if you stay in him and he in you, Amen. you will bring forth much fruit. So much what you think will happen to you if you don't stay in him? For without me, without me, ye can do nothing. Amen. Do you hear it? Amen. Without him, ye can do nothing. Without me. Oh, this is so plain. Oh, yes. You can jump and shout all you want, but without him. You can do nothing. Many of you is in the spiritual rut that you're in. You talk Jesus. That's but right. But you don't do Jesus. That's right. That's right. Bible said that only be a hearer of the word, but, but be a doer. Doer also. You talk Jesus. Yeah. But you don't do Jesus. That's right. Huh? That's right. What he says, son. For without me, ye can do nothing. Without him? Ye can do nothing. That's why many of you are still so hard-headed, so rebellious, yes. so mean, so ungodly, so yes. self-centered, so... Uh, <laughs> amen. amen. So unrighteous, unrighteous, so devilish. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tell them, they roll their eyes at you, they walk out, slam doors, and cuss at you, cuss under their breath, or cuss out loud. That's right. That's Get right. mad at me as if I wrote the Bible. Yeah. Like there was some false prophet in Philadelphia, amen. He advertised one of the members, uh, I guess, I don't know, this fellow said he used to go to the uh, first church. I don't even know the man. I don't know the young man. <laughs> He, he said he divorced his wife, but and he got the revelation he can get a new wife while his first wife is still living. So he went. So let me say this. Any preacher that justifies sin that you want to do, I guarantee you there's a church that preach what you want to do. That's right. So he went to that church and the preacher paraded him over social media and said, Pastor Jennings, one of your members came. He said he got the revelation that he can divorce. He got another wife. What you going to do? Keep preaching. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> right. uh, I'm going to keep preaching. That's right. Yeah, man. I'm going to keep preaching. That's right. I don't care if it get a thousand wives. I'm going to say like Jesus told the woman that had five. five. And Jesus said, the one you now have right. you're, it's not that's yours. That's right. Uh, that's right. I'm thank God, I'm going to hold the same hold thing. It. I don't care if you're 89 and the woman you married is 62. If your first wife is living, you're living in adultery. In adultery. And when you get old and die, to hell you going to go That's right. if you die with that second piece of meat. That's right. Huh? That's right. I don't care how popular you are. I don't care how many people know you. I don't care if you blow a bagpipe before you go to sleep. You better come <laughs> on back to Bible. 
and do it the way God says way it. Says because it. God ain't gave you no revelation no. that contradict what he have here. Oh, no. What did he say, son? I am divine. Ye are the I branch. am. I am divine. Oh, it's a be to God. I'm divine. Ye are the branches. You just, you just the branches. He that abideth in me in him, and I in him. I in him. The same bringeth forth much the fruit. The same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, yeah, without me, ye can do nothing. He declare you can't do anything. If a man abide not in if me, if a man don't stay in him, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. He is cast forth as a branch and is withered. Withered. Why you think you're not fruitful? Right. You shriveled up. That's right. Can't fast. Can't pray. Why? Spiritually, you're shriveled up. Shriveling. That's right. And when you do fast and pray, you're still so mean and so evil and so wicked, you <laughs> might as well go on and eat a whole turkey. That's right. That's as mean as the devil. That's right. Huh? Amen. The word of God says what? If a man abide not in me. Oh, God have it outlined so beautiful. Yes, he does. It ain't no need for nobody to try something else. No. If you come any other way, the word of God declare you're just a thief and a robber. That's right. Do you hear? Do it you hear? Do you hear? These are the fruits of the spirit, the, spirit. the results of the planting of the Lord That's within right. man. That's right. Uh -huh. If a man abide not if a in man me, man don't stay in me. He is cast forth as a branch and is withered. He is cast forth as, as a, branch a branch and is withered. I'm glad. I'm glad now that we don't. We're not. We're not dealing with the withering. That's right. Everywhere we go, I don't see no wither. No, none. Amen. When I look everywhere, everywhere we go, thank God I see a whole crop. That's wonderful. Amen. All type of fruit coming That's everywhere. That's right. No withering here. No withering. All right, son, real quick. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. Yes. And men gather them and cast them into the fire. Men gather them. Amen. Cast them in the fire. And they are burned. They are burned. If ye abide in me. If ye stay in him. And my words abide and in my you. My words, my speech, my teaching. Abide in you. Stay in you. Ye and shall. you cannot obey Jesus without obeying the apostles. The apostles. Impossible. Impossible. He said to his apostles, He that heareth you, hear, the, hear heareth, me. Heareth me. He that heareth you, hear me. And he that despise you, despise me. Despise me. Uh -huh. If ye abide in me. If ye stay in me. And my words and abide my in, words you. in you. He shall ask what you will. Do you hear? Amen. This is why some of you don't get what you're asking God for. Right. He spoke plain. If ye abide in me. If ye abide in me. And my words abide in you. And my teaching stay in you. Ye shall ask what you ye will. Ye shall. You, you got to do something before you ask. Right. Before you ask, you got something to perform. That's right. Huh? If ye abide in if, me. If. If. Do you hear it? If ye abide. If in you me. do this. If you do it. And my words abide and in you. And my words stay in you. Ye shall ask what ye you will. You can ask then. And it shall be done unto you. Oh, it'll be given. Yes, it will be. Amen. But if you're not abiding in his word, it don't need for you to ask nothing. That's right. Amen. Amen. You got to stay in it first. Oh, yes. Are you getting it? Oh, yes. The, the, Jesus' teaching is so plain here. Oh, yes. You don't need to go to theology school to figure this out. <laughs> no. Listen here. If you abide in me. If you abide in me. And my words abide in you. my word in you. You shall ask what you will. And what? And it shall be done unto you. Yeah. Herein is my Father glorified. Uh -huh. That ye bear much fruit. That, look, this is God's will. Yes. How God get the glory. The That's Spirit of God get glorified. That, ye that you bear. Much fruit. Much fruit. So shall ye be my disciples. Yes. Amen. I thank God we're bearing much fruit. Much fruit. Much fruit. Oh, yeah. Everywhere we go, much fruit is being bared. Oh, yeah. We got a Holy Ghost orchard. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. When we start out, we just had a little fruit basket. Fruit. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. Amen. We had about uh, 12 to 15 pieces of little fruit. <laughs> <laughs> a little lemon here, an orange here, a That's little it. grape here, a little, grape. <laughs> little small tangerine that was half dried up. <laughs> Amen. A little pear that some gnats was flying around. Oh. But we helped on to God's work. 
Yes, and you then did. when God began to increase our wisdom and knowledge and understanding and sent us forth and gave us the same charge that he gave the apostles yes, to right. go ye in all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. creature. He that believe and is baptized shall be saved. He that believe not shall be damned. And Hallelujah. I followed that and didn't detour from the teaching that he gave them. That's right. Glory to God. Now the fruit basket has been tilted over. That's right. Brother Kevin, we got a whole orchard now. Amen. Amen. I, I, every time I look, I see thousands and thousands everywhere I go. Everywhere. And you're always in the midst of that orchard. You got some bad fruit. That's right. Sure you do. That's right. Amen. Sometime I, I'll cut open one apple and there's about three worms in there. <laughs> Amen. All type of spirits All in there. All type of spirits. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Amen. That's right. You got three worms. Oh, you open, cut open another apple. There's so many worms you can't count. My Lord. All kind of spirits in there. Amen. Then you open one apple clean, clean. crisp, wonderful. That's right. Glad to see him again. Yeah. Amen. But you always will have bad among the good, but that don't mean the bad can't get right. That's right. That's right. I don't mean that. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I might say, well, you always criticizing. When I preach against sin, it sounds like criticizing. Yeah. But I'm criticizing the evil deeds of the man and of the woman that That's they right. may hate the evil deeds of themselves. That's right. What do you think? You look, if a preacher not going to speak against sin, you don't need him. Don't, don't need him. Because you ain't going to do it. No, you won't. Eh? No. To speak against sin is to speak against yourself. That's right. It's impossible for a man to preach the Bible and not hit his own self. That's right. Eh? That's right. Don't you know when God move on me to preach the word of God? The word of God hits me. It's you. Someone say it don't look like it hits you where you're having a good time. That's all right. I smile to keep from crying. <laughs> <laughs> Just smile to but my God, man, that stuff be beat me. I mean, hit me hard. Amen. Amen. But you just don't see it. But when I go back to my makeshift office, I be sitting down. My the brother's going to drive me back to my hotel. I be saying, my God, my God. Mm. Ah. Lord. Well, Lord, yeah, thank you for blessing us to preach the word of God. We might as well come on back again. It's true. Because there's nothing I can change. That's right. Don't you know if I can change something in here, I would have been done it been by now. Dead. I would have been done it by now. Oh, yes. Yeah, man, me and Williams would have been figured this yeah, thing we out. figured it out, <laughs> Oh, yeah. Man, we would have figured, figured it, it out, out years ago. That's right. Yeah, man, but we, it, 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 it's no change to it. No change it's to it. It's God's way or no way. That's right. And that's the thing that differ from the religion of men. Oh, yes. The religion of men is leaning to their own understanding. Oh, yeah. We are determined by God's help to bring you only, only. what the Lord say and nothing else. That's right. Acts 2, 38, son. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Now, if you want to be, you, we, we plant a seed we now. Oh, yes. Now it's up to you uh, to let it take root. That's it. And the fertile ground of your soul. That's right. We done drop seed and plenty of it. Training yeah. plenty of Bible. Oh, yeah. That's what the Bible is, the seed of the word. The seed of the word. And we're here now in Washington farming. That's right. We haven't got my plow and it's still on. The <laughs> That's engine, right. The engine have not been cut off yet. No, no. Thank God. And we, we got to take this same tractor to Richmond, Virginia. That's right. Same track, because it's the same type of soil there. Yeah. Same type of soil everywhere I go. Oh, yes. The preachers, you might as well come on out the church you're in. You might as well. <laughs> That's right. Don't go come to me and tell myself, I believe what you believe. And yet you somewhere else and some old fake religion and all that stuff, you don't believe what I believe, man. No, no, I no. believe hardcore Bible. That's right. That's right. I don't believe part Bible and part this. I believe all what the scripture has said. All of it. Nothing oh. else. No additives, no preservatives, nothing. Nothing. I believe what is written here. That's it. That's what makes the gospel so strong. That's right. Man, you'd be surprised how strong you can be if you just stick the Bible. Amen. Hallelujah. When you, listen, when you stick the Bible, mm. you are standing against the powers of hell. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Amen. The word of God will make you rooted and ground and Ram. settled. 
Be not moved away from the hope of the gospel right. that was preached to every creature. Yeah. Amen. Under heaven, Paul said, whereof I made a minister. Amen. Repent now. Repent. repent. Be godly sorrow. That's right. Be sorry about your sins. Yeah. Which sin? All of them. All of them. You ain't got to tell me what you've done. That's no. between you and God. And I guarantee uh, he going to know everything. <laughs> That's right. Because you won't remember everything you've done. No. There are some things you don't remember and there are some things you don't want to remember. True. But I guarantee you God will remember everything. That's right. He's calling for a broken and contrite heart. Oh, yes. That us submit to his divine will. Yeah. That you may inherit the fruits or the results of God once you repent Don't of you your repent. sins and be baptized in water. Every one of you. How much? Every one of Everybody. you. Everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. I don't care if you are a preacher or not a preacher. It's for you too. That's right. Everybody. Every one of you. Every one of you. In the name of In Jesus Christ. In the name Christ. of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sins. Remission mean removing. That's right. Your sins have never been washed away and cannot be washed cannot away be. without baptism. That's right. You must repent of your sins and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ, for the removing of your sins. And then he promised that he had fill you with the Holy Ghost, fill you with God, fill you with, fill you with the Spirit, fill you with himself. That's it. Huh? That's right. And when you fit with the Holy Ghost, the Holy, the Holy Ghost. Ghost, which is the Holy Spirit, will put you in the body of Christ put you in the church because the Bible says you're baptized by one, by spirit, one spirit into one body. Into one body. That's, the new birth. That's the new birth. That's the way you're born again. Amen. Now anybody here want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and escape hell. Yeah. Stand on your feet if you want it today. Stand on your feet if you want it. Thank Amen. God. Wonderful. 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 All of you that are standing go right over there. All of you that are standing, go right over there. Wonderful. Where you see them standing, holding the signs up. Amen. All of you that are standing, glory to God. All of you that are standing. Wonderful. Amen. 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 Glory be to God. Isn't that wonderful? Wonderful. <laughs> Hallelujah. My sheep. Hallelujah. Well, hear my voice. That's right. God said a stranger. Thank God. Hallelujah. He will not follow. Don't follow. This is the planting of the Lord. Of the Lord. Amen. That's why we came down here in Washington now. We're plowing the ground. <laughs> Thank God, and I see some good crop good coming crop. up. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Why is no use of nobody fighting no, this? No, no. There's no use. All you preachers out there that's fighting this and making your little videos and podcasts, and you haven't baptized 12 people in 50 years, <laughs> you might as well get on board. That's right. Yeah. That's right. You might as well come on and surrender. Might as well. When are you going to wake up? This stuff is not Pastor Jenna's doing. This is the doing of God. That's right. Huh? That's right. It's the doing of God. Amen. 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 I encourage all of you preachers, come out of your churches. There's a preacher that was in Portsmouth, Virginia. Elder Fletcher called me. He closed his church mm. and told his members, you go over to Pastor Jenna's church. Awesome. All of you, go to Pastor Jenna's church. Yeah. Amen. He shut his church down. Mm. Amen. He said, go over there. And he said, he's the only man I trust teaching the word of God. Wonderful. Amen. He closed his church. There are preachers closing their churches. There are preachers that are coming in, bringing their whole church and congregations ready to walk with the word yeah. of God. You can't be separate from the word of God and expect to get into God's kingdom. That's right. Amen. When God was manifested in the flesh and Jesus Christ was he, he See. prayed for his apostles oh, yeah. that they all Make might one. be one. Be one. 
God only have one church. That's all. There's only one belief supposed to be in that church. That's right. And we all got to walk by the same rule. Yes. And mind the same thing. It ain't no come along. You got your belief. I got mine. You're not allowed to have yours, and I'm not supposed to have mine. No. We're supposed to have the faith of Jesus faith Christ. Of Jesus Christ. That eliminate you having yours. That's right. And me having mine. Do you see what's happening? <laughs> so I want to say to all of you that are watching. Hallelujah. Throughout Washington, D.C. and surrounding areas. We'll be soon opening up the first church of the Lord Jesus Christ of Washington, D.C. area. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We'll soon open it up. Amen. Amen. There's a organization where the people want to come follow us. Uh, they have four buildings and hardly nobody in neither building. Mm. Wow. Amen. So some of the folks was here last night. Amen. And uh, uh, they supposed to be apostolic and whatnot, but they know holiness is the right thing. Yeah. And they said, Pastor Jennings, uh, we want to get rid of that title apostolic. I said, you might as well get rid of it and bury it <laughs> and be holy like Jesus said. Hey, the, the brother told me, he said, man, we believe everything you preach from that Bible. It's wonderful. Everything. It's wonderful. He said, not some of it, all of it. Amen. Amen. So he said, uh, you, you can be able to use one of our, he said, one of our churches we only use once a month. The place is just sitting there, empty. Mm. Amen, man. But we have so many people, we can fill up all four churches. That's Wonderful. Right. Yeah. Mm. Amen. So, to all the followers of the truth of God, hear ye, hear ye. Amen. We will give you the date. Wonderful, brother. Time, address, and name of the place when the first service will take place. Amen. And I'll be there. Amen. 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 I'll be there. They get you all organized. Wonderful. They get everybody organized. Uh, I wish I could be cloned. For real. For real. Yeah. Amen. Now, if I, if, I can, if I can clone myself, man, I'd make a good several million of me. <laughs> I'm folks that kill me like nobody bitch. <laughs> I'd make several million of you, William. Oh, wow. All amen. right, Pastor. All right. So, <laughs> hey, man, that way I can beat you up everywhere I go. <laughs> That way I can have some, I know what's being read. Oh, yes. And, go, and the folks will know what's being preached. That's right. Amen. So we'll be there for the first opening meeting of the first church of the Lord Jesus Christ of Washington, D.C. Come by the number. Wonderful. Amen. If the church don't hold you, if the church don't hold you, then the men can stand up all around the wall. Amen. Because this is serious Holy Ghost business. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Amen. We're not doing this playing with nobody, so nobody. No. Some many preachers, I suppose to meet with the preacher tonight. Old preacher. Amen. He was here last night. He said, I'll be back tonight. I want to talk to you. I have a church here in Washington holding about 300. I said, how many is there? He said, oh, hardly nobody. Mm. I need to talk to you. Mm. Amen. So I talked to him so I can look over what he's preaching. Right. Amen. Because uh, I, won't, I won't accept you unless mm. you believe every drop <laughs> That's of right. what's written here. That's right. Yeah. If there's something you don't understand, if you don't understand, then we'll sit and talk it out. Yes. We'll sit and talk it out with Bible. I don't want your opinion. And uh, we're going to talk it out with Bible because we got to be on the same page. That's right. I don't care how much you speak in tongue, how much you jump and shout, and what title your people give you. Yeah. If you don't come God's way God's and you claim you know the most dangerous job is being a preacher? That's right. Because you got to give an account to God for that. Oh, yes. Everything, Everything. you tell people, if it contradict God, one thing. One thing. How many things did Adam do to get put out to God? One. One thing. How many? One. 
How many? One. One thing. How many things you have to do to not get in the kingdom? One. Oh, how many? One. One. Reach it. Yeah. Amen. Something. something. Now they complain about my strictness. I don't care nothing about your complaint. No. This is the last days. Oh, yes. Lord, our God is coming. And the church is just having a good time. A festival. Just playing church. And the choirs are playing church. The preachers are playing church. Everybody is turning the churches to clubs and parties. Yeah. And the preachers just playing with their people. And just getting the people all hyped. Man, I ain't trying to hype you. I'm trying to save you. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Get right with God. Get right. Over to God and do it now. All right, who can give me the correct time, brothers? 2.28. 2.28. All right, the evening session start at 5 o'clock. Come on back this evening. I know some of you are getting on the road and go home, but don't go home and watch TV now. Watch your team that's playing, and uh, you come on here. Yeah. You can shoot some Bible hoop here. <laughs> that's right. Or kick some scripture and make a field goal here. <laughs> Amen. Don't go home to your second wife and your third husband. <laughs> unless you're going to leave them. You can go back and pack. And, and then bring your suitcases here. <laughs> and hear the word of God. Amen. All right, Washington, get prepared. We're going we're gonna to wrestle with the city. Wonderful, man. Amen. Amen. We're going to fight every preacher and any preacher in town. Wonderful. That don't believe what the word of God say. I'm telling you, the apostles fought everything. Yes, they did. And the only ones fought the apostles was those that was haters of God. That's right. Amen. Amen. One thing I say about the Bible, it attests those.